Welcome to Modern Vibes with Dr. Jerry the First, episode 150. This Saturday, the 10th day of February 2018. My name is Dr. Jerry the First Oguzi, and today I am looking at the nine approaches to conquer fear and live with strength. Fear is a state of mind that keeps us rooted at one spot, making it impossible or difficult for us to make a forward movement. Fear is actually engraved in our DNA as a protective mechanism and to help us not to ski out of the beat. And so there are positive and negative aspects of fear. But experience has shown that most people are gripped by the negative aspects of fear that they are unable to live the life of their dreams but to merely exist and be hoping against hope that tomorrow will be better. This type of fear does no one any good and is the one that needs to be quickly and urgently dispensed with in order for living to be meaningful. Conquer fear by understanding that all dread is only a condition of carelessness, in which case you are overlooking your truth, you are overlooking your worth, you are overlooking your power, you're overlooking your wisdom, you're overlooking your purpose, and also overlooking your source. Dread has no energy of its own. However, it can be sustained with the power we provide for it. So today, we'll figure out how to quit giving apprehension control over us. Today, we'll look at nine approaches to conquer fear and live with strength. Number one, open yourself up to this thought that fear is only a deception and that love is the main thing that is genuine. The initial step to defeat fear is by understanding that all dread is only a state of absent-mindedness. When you forget your truth, when you over overlook your worth, when you do not know the power behind you, when you overlook the wisdom ingrained in you, when you overlook your purpose in life, and when you overlook the source of your life, then fear will be your friend. A Course in Miracles discusses this so wonderfully. It says, Nothing and everything cannot coexist. To believe in one is to deny the other. Fear is really nothing. And love is everything. Whenever light enters, whenever light enters darkness, the darkness is abolished. That is taken from a course in miracles. And in the New Testament of the Holy Bible, it says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, and of self-confidence. This is taken from 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. And John Lennon says, There are two basic motivating forces in life, fear and love. When we are afraid, we pull back from life. But when we are in love, we open to all that life has to offer with passion, excitement, and acceptance. Number two, Revise anything you no longer wish to sustain in your life. Dwelling on past irritations or hurts perpetuates them and creates a vicious circle that serves to confirm those negative emotions. The circle can be broken by starting now to revise anything that you no longer wish to sustain in your world. This is a quote from Neville Goddard. I meant anything that you no longer wish to maintain in your reality by spending at least five minutes every day reproducing the sins of the past. Yes, go back to the past. Check all the hurts. Check all the insults. Check all the blackmails. Whatever it is that is still paining you up to today. But change that once dim, excruciating and dreadful habit into something superb, solid and rousing. 
By so doing, your present and future life will be based on the establishment of these recently made solid recollections. Try not to give your frightful personality a chance to spook you into imagining that you need to harp on past damages and disturbances and convey those ways with you wherever you go. And Neville Goddard continues to say, by revising the past, you rid yourself of any effect it may have on your future. Revision is truly the key which can be used to unlock the doors that have kept you trapped in a particular state. Number three, center yourself in yourself. You need to know that your body is more or less like a house. Now, if the owner of a house goes meandering from place to place, leaving the entryways and the windows of the house open, criminals and thieves will easily stroll in and exploit the circumstance. This happens to your body too, if you are not at home in your body. When you are not being completely grounded, or you are not present, or you are not fully occupied with your body, you turn it into, into a simple focus for fear, or questioning, or nervousness, or desire, or outrage, and then the various criminals and mind thieves who are anxious to take away your satisfaction, peace, and prosperity take over. So, focus yourself in yourself. Be where you are. Look around. Just look. Don't interpret. See the light, the shapes, the colors, the textures. Be aware of the silent presence of each thing. Be aware of the space that allows everything to be. This is a quote taken from Eckhart Tolle. So, treat your body with the adoration, the pride, and regard it genuinely as it merits. Don't give your dreadful musings a chance to deceive you into supposing that you have to go outside of yourself to get yourself. Keep in mind and don't forget that all that you require to live the life of your dreams are as of now kept right inside of you. So, remain focused. Number four, live each day in wonder. Remain open and responsive to the enchantment and ponder that surrounds you. Be as a little youngster, inquisitive, ever-present, ever-grateful, and upbeat. Give careful consideration to what's unfolding before you. Underestimate nothing. Remember that every day is a blessing. Every minute is another life. Every breath is a gift. Recognize the magnific magnificence that encom encompasses you. The trees, the clouds, the stars, the blooms, the scents, the hues, and the people. Recognize all this magnificence and the enchantment that this world brings to your table and give your cherishing a depth of gratitude and which is in order so that you can last a bit of it. Number five, dwell in thankfulness. This powerful quote says it all. If the only prayer you ever say in your entire life is thank you, it will be enough. This is from Mr. Eckhart. To express appreciation to all that life brings to the table for you, regardless of the on or off chance that you see them either as great or awful or monstrous or excellent, is to dissolve all fear from your psyche and your heart and make room in your life for affection. A frightful personality knows no appreciation. In any case, a mind loaded with adoration is a mind that knows how capable appreciation is. So start saying thank you to everything and everybody. Furthermore, realize that this will help you to exclusively take love and peace back to your own particular life. However, you will likewise understand that nothing in this life transpires and everything occurs for you. Number six, take time alone in silence. Herman Melville says, God's one and only voice are silence. Each day, try to spend at least five to ten minutes alone, peacefully, 
In the event that you live in a bustling home and you can't locate a tranquil space, go to the restroom and close the door after you and don't give anybody a chance to exasperate you until the point that you have reconnected with the peace and love that's available in the quietude of your heart and your psyche. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 15, In quietness and trust shall be your strength. Give yourself the endowment of quietness and let quietness uncover to you the truth about everything, about yourself, about life itself, about love, about fear. Lao Tzu says, if you let yourself be blown to and fro, you lose touch with your root. If you let restlessness move you, you lose touch with who you are. Number seven, fill your heart with prayer and your soul with meditation. Fill your heart with supplication and your spirit with reflection. Give your heart and soul the support they have to recuperate your dreadful personality and implant your existence with light and love. Prayer isn't really a religious practice, but instead it's a cozy demonstration of interfacing our psyches with our souls and our souls with the life and love of all things while meditation is a demonstration of giving up and surrender, so we can hear our internal direction and find the solution to our suppli supplications. Soren Krukagard says, The function of prayer is not to influence God, but rather to change the nature of the one who prays. Number eight, surrender. Keep in mind and don't forget that to surrender isn't to give your energy away. It is rather to reclaim the power you once gave away. To surrender is to never again permit your dreadful personality and your unreliable inner self to choose what is beneficial for you. Surrender your life always to the high part of you. Surrender to your soul, surrender to your truth, surrender to your light, and surrender to your inner God. And a course in miracles says, all real pleasure comes from doing God's will. And God is within you. Always remember that is within you, not outside of you. This is because not doing it is a denial of self. Number nine. These are the lies of fear. Fear discloses to us that we are little, unworthy, and unimportant. Fear tells us that we will come up short, we will never win. Fear tells us that we are alone, we are isolated. Fear tells us that no one will hear us out. Fear instructs us to keep away, to stow away, to hide. Fear tells us that we are nothing. But that is simply fear. Now when you replace love for fear, you will understand that love knows that we ourselves are love. We are adored and we are cherishing. Love knows we are guided. Love knows we are never alone, never. Love knows that we are commendable and strong enough. Love knows that we are excellent. Love knows that we are powerful incalculably. Love knows we are wise, brave and courageous. Love knows but dread considers. There are fears of life fears of light, and then love heals. So, conquer fear with love. Love your mockiness into the light. Love your adversaries into friends. Love your injuries into shrewdness. Love your past into mending. Love your disease into health. Love all fear into love. Cherish everything in light of the fact that there is no more noteworthy power than love. Open yourself up to this thought that fear is only a fantasy. What's more, that love is the main thing that is genuine. Furthermore, let your love demonstrate to you the industry standards to beat fear. Until I come your way again, this is Morning Vibes with Dr. Jerry the first.
This program is powered by Top It Up Media and Communication Nigeria. All rights reserved. Thank you for listening to this broadcast this morning. If it has resonated with you, kindly subscribe to our channel and also give us a thumbs up as a show of liking this broadcast. You can also read the full text on our blog and you can also like our Facebook page. Please kindly find the links to our blog and our Facebook page right in the description box below. And hey, you can also actually click on that bell beside the subscription button so that you can be notified whenever another broadcast is dropped here. Do have a nice day.